there, Sherman, focusing this um, video on being a student of the game. When it comes to participating in financial services, it becomes extremely important to really understand how the process works and ultimately your place in that process. And so if you take a step back, you really want to be able to know for yourself is why you do what you do. If you've ever watched Simon Sinek's video it's, or read his book, it starts with why. It's a TED talk that just went viral. And it's what's going to inspire you, possibly inspire staff that you decide to hire, is, is really honing in on why you do what you do. And then after that, after you can really hone on that why, the next process then is the how and the what you do. So really being a student of the game is a good analogy would be like professional athletes watching video and film of their upcoming game. Either they're watching themselves in their process or they're watching how the other team plays and how they react to different setups and that gets them really ready for the upcoming game. So what you want to be able to know for yourself as a professional is what is the activity that leads to results that you want. So tracking some form of activity that gets you the results. The next thing to be able to look at is your profits and profit and loss statement. So you're identifying I'm bringing in enough revenue and reducing my expenses in order to have a profitability or recognizing that, you know what, I'm a little bit lean in my revenue right now. I really got to crank that up and how am I going to do that? Other one is to be able to know your competition. What are the other companies doing? Uh, what are their other strategies? How do they market to their clients? And are you competing for the same individuals, the same dollars? The other one to be able to know as being a student of the game is what, how are the benefits of the products and services that you sell solve the needs of the clients that you end up talking to? And really connecting those dots for the client on how the benefits solve their needs and how that provides a real solution to them. Probably one of the most important in being a student of the game is really knowing the psychology of a buyer, particularly when it comes to financial services, whether that's risk management or investments. Under the, understanding the psychology of people will really help you engage with them in a way that's meaningful to them. And also, I'd put an understanding of the psychology of importance and in, in being a student of the game is really being a student of language. And that doesn't mean that you need to know foreign language. It doesn't mean that you need to have the most polished presentation or even want to public speak. What I want to hone in on for each of you is that you become really good at your own language and your own process, your own stories and how you're connecting with people. Make it your own. It's always easier to be able to have things conversational after you've practiced your language continually. And I wouldn't say that practicing face-to-face -face in front of a prospect or client is really the right, right way to go. Question that I have for the audience or for you is, what do you do to be a student of the game? Have a fantastic day, everybody.